Hello everybody, this is Jacob from Widget Me This here. Today, and for the next three videos, we're going to do another three video series. I'm going to be talking about the 4 and 10 um, as buy bets versus the 5 and 9 as place bets. And now guys, um, these are very common bets in the game. Um, a lot of people want to go 110 inside or 66 inside or different uh, combinations of inside numbers and in my opinion I think it's actually better to play the 4 and 10 as opposed to the 5 and 9 um, <clears throat> especially if you're at the buy level and a lot of places now you know they buy pretty cheap you can some places even buy at ten dollars um, so but most places it's at least twenty dollars on the 4 and 10 buy but what we're going to do is I'm going to, I have two racks out there and I'm going to put two $500 bankrolls in them. All right. So 500 is one full thing for you guys. If you don't know, uh, in these kind of racks, um, each one of these should hold 20. All right. So here we go. So now if we were going to play the four and 10 and the five and nine, and we were going to play them for a quarter piece, which is the exact same risk, there is a huge advantage to the four and 10 on payout. The four and 10 are gonna pay you 50 for a dollar versus 35. So essentially $49 versus 35. That's a $14 difference, guys. Put this, perspective, put this in perspective, all right? That $14 difference is like a whole nother hit on a $10 five or a $10 nine or a $12 six and eight. That's like a whole nother win. That $14 difference is essentially half of your bet. Just that single difference, all right? So you gotta ask yourself, what is gaining one combination? Cause that's the difference. There's three combinations to win versus four combinations to win. How much is it worth to you on payout per combination. You gotta think about that. How much is it worth to you for a single combination of dice? Is it worth $14? I don't think so. I think what, when you look at the game, if you go in $5 increments, it would indicate that to make that $14 back, you'd have to put 10 more dollars on the five. So to get to a $49 payout, you'd have to put $35 on the five. So essentially, that $14 is worth $10 of bets. All right? So if you don't understand what I mean, I'm going to put it out there for you really quick. So if you had a place five for 35 and you had a buy four for 25, these pay the same. But this one was $10 more in risk. You see what I'm saying? So this, guys, is the reason why I believe that the 4 and 10 are better bets than the 5 and 9 and are equal bets to the 6 and 8. The 4 and 10 themselves, by themselves, because of the price you have to pay to get a $50 payout, is better than putting $30 on the 6 and 8 to get a $35 payout. Or is it at least equal to it? Because... Again, you could put 10 more, 12 more dollars. Now, it's still going to be a $2 advantage to the 4 and 10 at that point to get the same payout. So, guys, this is the power, the value of the 4 and 10. And I know it gets overlooked a lot. Um, and hopefully these videos will help you uh, understand why. Hopefully they'll go correct and give you guys a good indication of why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this side over here as my four and 10 side, and this side over here is my five and nine side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the bets out there and I'm gonna roll out uh, shooters. Um, we'll, let's call it, let's roll out five different shooters, right? And see which one ends up uh, in better position. All right, so there's our five shooters, our five shooter markers, all right? We're gonna run it exactly the same. We're gonna put the money out there we're going to be uh, off on the come out, just like people play, and then we'll go forward from there. All right, so let's four and 10 guy. 
set us up here will be on this edge because that's where this spot would play if you were over here let's get our five and nine guy rolling well actually you know what let's put the four and ten guy in the back because it's, it's going to be in a weird weird spot over there four and ten guy in the back five and nine guy in the front that'll be better four and ten guy five and nine guy all right shooter number one here we go all right again like i said we're going to be off on the come out from there on we're going to calculate and i'm just going to rack up who wins and i'm going to do three episodes of this three episodes of the exact same thing and you guys unless it just goes absolutely ridiculous one way leans one way you'll see that the four and ten should outpace the five and nine here we go coming out and there's a five on the come out right now people are like see you should have been working it would have already been winning on the five but guys think about it now a single combination of dice is only worth about five dollars of bet that's a good correlation for it and there's a six and they may both lose they may both make nothing and an 11 six five yo And nine, okay, so the nine is is winning right now. Thirty-five dollars over the nine. Twelve, two sixes. Eight, five tray. Good roll shooter. Six shooters killing it. Get him, shooter. Hard four. Okay, so it's going to win 50 for one. I'm going to trade this in. Okay. Six, five, one. Long shot. Eight, six, deuce. Oh, it was not a 12, guys. It was an eight. It didn't really matter if it was a 12 or an eight in this case. And a five. There you go. Point made. Good shot, shooter. $35 winner. So I want to point this out. The five and nine have hit twice and won $70. The four has hit once and won $50. Think about that. All right. Box numbers are off. And it got a square pair, hard eight. All right, here we go. Nine, uh-oh, here we go, five and nine. Looking good. Looking good, five and nine. Six, four deuce, dang, this is a long roll. Hard for two deuces. All right, we're gonna drop a dollar for 50. So now, it's a $15 difference. This has hit twice, this has hit once, or three times. And that's about the difference. It's not worth one combination, guys. Eight, six, deuce, that's a point. Good shot, shooter. This shooter is smoking hot. You gotta make sure you guys can see that rack. Oh yeah, okay. Box numbers are off. We got a seven on the come out. Good shot, shooter. Four, new point. All right, so let's see what happens to the four and 10 too. Yo, 11, 11, 11, 11. Seven out. Okay, so there's our first out. Finally, that was a killer shot. Amazing shot. Same investment. All right, shooter number two. Here we go. Put our investment out there.
Box numbers are off. We got a seven on the come out. Five or uh, six one. Six one. Six deuce eight. That's our point coming out on that eight. Here we go. Zoop. Eight right back. Good shot, shooter. Ride the line is doing good. Coming out, we got a three. That ain't gonna win. That's a bad deal. Nine, new point. Five and a four. All right, here we go. Come on, winners. Five and a four, right back. Good shot, shooter. The shooter is smoking hot. It's going to win $35. Here we go. Box numbers are off. Six, new point. New point on the six. Eight, five, three, eight. Seven, out. Ooh, four and ten didn't get nothing there. That ain't good. Come back here. Lost the stick. Knock these off. Next shooter. Next shooter. Oops. I gotta get my stick back. All right, four and ten. Five and nine. All right, box numbers are off. Let's go. Aces. Aces in both the places. Six, that's the point. Four deuce. Yo, 11. 11, 11, 11. Five, that's a winner. $35. Oh, five and nine are outpacing it. Four and ten right now. Eight. Four and ten have kind of disappeared on us. Four. There it is. They came back. He's back. We haven't hit a single ten yet, which is kind of odd. It's going to be a dollar for fifty. Kind of odd. Slightly odd. Aces in both places. Hard 10. Get off the window. Hard 10 right there. That's going to be a, a dollar big for 50. All right. Six, that's the point, good shot shooter. Seven on the come out, on the come out. Remember, we're not working our numbers. It's how most people play. I try to keep it the way most people play. There's a 12, two sixes. All the spots we got. And a six, okay, that's the point. Come on, five and nine, six, or four and ten, five and nine. Let's go, four and ten and five and nine. And we got a five, there we go. Three and a two. $35 win. Seven, okay. Shooter's gonna be down. Two shooters left. Okay, there we go. Box numbers are off. That's there's no point, guys. This this was off. This is a new shooter. Seven on the come out. Oh, we need to get that down, huh? There we go. Now we're back in order. Five, four, nine. Still haven't seen a single ten yet. 
Interesting. 437. That's a PSO or, well, not exactly a PSO because there was a 7, but pretty close. Last shooter of the day. Box numbers are off. Here we go. Seven only come out. Five deuce. Five deuce seven. Six is our point. There we go. We'll come back here. Come on, winners. There's a nine. There we go. Six tray nine. Six deuce eight. Six one seven. Dang, the ten, the ten really whooped the four and ten by not showing up. We didn't roll a single ten in all those rolls. That was interesting. All right, let's just see where it ended up. Trust me, this is going to be closer than you might think. All right, so these are our, there are our bank rolls. They don't count. It's just this money. All right, so this, we can tell how many hits pretty easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hits. Four hits, okay? So the four and 10 are easy, you made 200 bucks. All right, in seven hits on the five and nine. Now, now stay with me here, guys. Look at this. Four hits versus seven hits. 100, 75, 200, 245. So literally if the 410 would have hit one more time, they, they would be even because of the VIG. But that's what I'm saying. In four hits, you almost made as much money as in seven hits. Now in this case, the 10 didn't show up at all, which is unusual. Um, but... You saw in this case right here, the five and nine, even though it made more money in this sequence of dice, it took three more hits. It took three extra hits to do it. So even if you take a hit away, which is $35, it would be even just $10. And guys, this is why I'm trying to tell you guys that the four and 10 are more valuable than the five and nine. Um, even though I understand that the five and nine have one more combination of dice each. The 4 and 10, because of the payout structure, are a much better bet. They're a far superior bet to the 5 and 9. And if you wanted to pay the same, let's say you wanted to pay the 35, right? You could put, uh, you could put like $20 on the 4 and 10, which is going to pay 40, 39. So you would be saving $5 per bet. And that, that's what I'm getting at, is for the value, what you, you're putting an equal amount on both, what you get back is more important than that single combination of dice. And I, and I know, and right here, people are going to say, yeah, but you just rolled five shooters and the five and nine made more money. It did, but it had to hit three more times. You had to get lucky three more times to make it make more money. And that's, that's the difference. That's what I'm trying to point out in this set of videos. So this is going to be the first video. I'm going to do the exact same thing in the next two videos. Is I'm going to put $500 bankroll out. And I'm going to just roll out five shooters. And I, I think we're going to see at least one of these where it gets really lopsided to the 4 and 10. Even though it doesn't have that many more hits. Because guys, 7 hits on the 4 and 10. Or let's just say 6 hits. 6 hits, you would have been looking at $300. Versus seven hits on the five and nine, you're only looking at 245. So oh, that's that's what I'm getting at here, guys, is I'm trying to show that the value is on the four and ten. It is not on the five and nine. The five and nine is actually a terrible place bet. Um, when, you, when you really look at it, it's actually a terrible place bet because you're getting seven to five 
when you should be getting 750 to five. So you're losing 50 cents right out the gate. And, and that's, it's a tough thing to manage on the five and nine. The only reason the five and nine tend to work out is when you play them with the six and eight, because then the overall amount of combinations makes sense more so than the five and nines payout. But in, in a payout sense, guys, the six and eight don't make more sense than the four and 10 either. Because there's still about a $2 difference from one to the other. And let me show that real quick. All right, so here we go. So if I was gonna put a $30 six out and a $25 four, we don't even wanna do a $30 four because it wouldn't even be close then, all right? This pays 49, this pays 35. To get that right there, to pay 49, we have to put 12 more dollars on it. It has to be a $12 bigger bet. Now, it's two combinations better, right? There's five ways to win versus three ways to win. Guys, that right there is two combinations worth $12 because that's what it takes to equal the win to the win. So I think two combinations is worth about $10 and so you're still advantage of the four is of about $2. And so guys, and I'm not saying don't play the six and eight because I think they're fantastic bets. What I'm saying is when you go, when you say 110 inside, you should say 110 on the evens. Say 110 on the evens and I promise that as long as you don't have crazy spikes in some direction, the four and 10 in the course of multiple sessions will outpace what the five and nine would have done. It's just the nature of how it pays out versus how many times it's going to hit. And so, again, guys, I'm just trying to show the reality of the game, right? I know so many people jump right on that inside bet because you do get so many combinations. You end up with 18 combinations of the dice, which is essentially, it's you know, it's half of the game. So that, that's a really nice... A nice group, right, to have. You have half of the game. But it, it, it you still you only lose two combinations, so you have slightly less than half of the game with the 4 and 10, but you have a huge advantage on the payout. So going 110 on the evens is better than 110 inside. In the long run, guys. Now, so obviously, short spikes are going to tell you one thing or another, but in the long run, Going with the 4 and 10 versus the 5 and 9 is going to be better. I know today didn't show it exactly, but if you can look past the short amount of rolls here and understand that 4 hits versus 7 hits, and there was just a slight difference in it, $45 difference, you should understand that one was far superior to the other. But anyways, guys, thank you for your time. This is Jacob from Would You Be This. You guys have a great day.